Hi, government guidelines for a healthy, balanced diet for an adult is to get five fruit and veg into your diet a day. Now the mistake many people make is they think five in total means they could have four pieces of fruit and only one vegetable a day. In our personal view, we believe that it's appropriate to have eight servings of vegetables a day plus two to three servings of fruit. Now to many people that might seem an extraordinary amount of food to get into your system. The question is, how do you fit all that in? If you're having three, even four meals a day, how can you possibly fit that in? Well, I may have the answer for you and it comes in the form of our super smoothie. Okay, we're going to start putting some leafy greens into the smoothie. Now there's a difference here, you can juice leafy greens, which is great. By putting the leafy greens into a smoothie, we're going to retain all of the fiber that goes with it as well. So we're upping the quantity of fiber that's going into our system. You know, which is great because that's going to help our digestive system as well. Using some beautiful fresh organic spinach in there, which you put in there. Smoothie's great to have some extra flavor, so I'm going to put just a little knob of ginger, so probably about the same amount that you put about the size of the top of your thumb. Goes into there, uh, and then we start to add some other vegetables. So let's start off with some, uh, some carrot. Then we're going to add in some celery. Don't need an awful lot, I'm just putting about an inch of about five or six stalks. Goes into there. We're going to add in some beautiful fresh raw beetroot. Beetroot's really high in, uh, in vitamins and nutrients. It's also great for helping the hemoglobin bolt onto your red blood cells and lift up the amount of oxygen that your blood system can carry in it. Just chuck that into uh, quarters there. And what do we got? Carrots. Let's put some red cabbage in there as well. Again, nature's given us some clues. Things that are high in color tend to be high in vitamins. Red cabbage is great. It's a member of the brassica family. And brassicas include cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cauliflower. Really good antioxidants for prevention of cancer. So great to have in the, in the smoothie on this one. Now we've put lots of vegetables in. Let's try adding some fruit. And to start with, put some apple. Apple's nice and sweet, but it's reasonably high in fiber as well. I'm just cutting that into chunks, and you'll notice that the core is going into that too. The only thing I'm not putting in as part of this apple is the stem, with a little stick bit at the end. Put that in, and on top of that, we're going to add in some frozen berries. So the thing with berries, the darker the berries are, the richer the color of the berries, the higher they are in antioxidants. Frozen berries are fine, you don't have to have fresh all the time. It's the same with frozen vegetables too. I used to work in an industry where we were harvesting peas and frozen vegetables as a holiday job. And I know for a fact that from harvest to the point that they're in the factory, blast frozen and in the bags, is usually about six to eight hours. You can't get much fresher than that. Yes, by freezing vegetables and fruits, you, use a you lose a tiny amount of the uh, nutritional value of them but sometimes not nearly so much as you'll lose by having foods that are sitting around in supermarket shelves for a day or two. So don't discount frozen vegetables and frozen fruit. Very high uh, value in terms of their nutrition. So we have some frozen berries and there's some frozen banana in there as well. Banana's high in potassium, which is great for helping you retain fluid in the muscle. So it keeps you well hydrated and helps balance salts. And on top of that, we're going to add in some protein because pretty much we've got no protein value in so far. What I'm going to use, the protein powder we have here called Solgar Way to Go. Now the reason I'm using this particular brand is that it doesn't have sweeteners that come from acesulfame uh, or aspartame. Acesulfame K or acesulfame potassium it's sometimes called. Two scoops of protein, let's go maybe another three. I like the vanilla flavor because you can add it to anything else. Uh, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't destroy the flavor. and adds to its nice mild flavor as well. And we're going to add some water in there before we blend that up. So you can see we've got quite a powerful mixture we're putting together here. Four vegetables, three fruits, some protein powder as well. You know, this is more than your five a day just in the one serving alone. Now we'll start blend up just on low speed. Once it catches at the bottom there, we'll fire that up to a higher speed and let it run for a minute to smooth it out nice and, uh, nice and smooth.
and it's done. Okay, let's pour that out, see what it's like. Fantastic. And look how velvety smooth that's come through on the blender. That wonderful consistency. You think with all the vegetables and fibre that we had in there that it would be thicker and tough and lumpy? Not so, not the case at all. And we can just decorate there with a little bit of fresh, fresh mint. Okay, so there you have it. That's our super smoothie. Fantastic breakfast. If you're in the habit of having a coffee in the morning in order to wake yourself up to give you that little bit of get up and go, you don't need that anymore. With a super smoothie like this, it's got all the nutrition that you need in it. It's fantastic for children as well, particularly as they've got growing bodies. It's great brain food as well, and it tastes fantastic. Mm, that's fantastic. That's good.